Hi, my name is Jim. We made this video about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to tell you about how video cameras work and why sometimes things don't look the way you expect them to. Have you ever seen a video where a car is driving down the road, but if you look at the wheels, it looks like they're not turning, or turning very slowly, or even turning backwards? We will explain why this happens and how to do some experiments to help you understand what's going on. You may know that a video is made by taking pictures very close together in time and then playing them back at that same speed. But some weird things happen when the camera cannot keep up with the action. That depends on the frame rate of the camera. The frame rate tells you how many individual pictures or frames that the camera takes in one second. Most smartphones let you adjust the frame rate. Here is a screenshot of my phone. I'm setting it up to the slowest frame rate, which is 30 frames per second, or 30 FPS. That means every 1 30th of a second, it takes a picture when shooting a video. 1 30th of a second is about 0 0.033 seconds, or 33 milliseconds. A millisecond is 1 1 1,000th of a second. When I start a video, the camera takes a picture. Then 33 milliseconds later, it takes another one. And then another picture 33 milliseconds after that, and so on, until I stop. Each of those pictures is called a frame. We took a video of our dog, Honey Bear, walking in the yard. Here you can see the individual frames when the camera took a picture every 33 milliseconds. When you view the video, all these frames are played back, one every 33 milliseconds. Your eyes and your brain don't see the individual frames. The video looks like a continuous motion, not a bunch of still pictures. But some strange things can happen when you take a video of something with a repeating pattern, like a fan or a spinning wheel. The wheel on a car can seem to be rolling backwards if the frame rate of the camera is too slow to follow the motion of the wheel. In other words, the camera is not fast enough to keep up with all of the action that's happening. When we look at how things are spinning, they can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. I will demonstrate how things can get confusing by taking videos of our ceiling fan. Here's what the fan looks like at different speeds. At low speed, you can easily see it spinning counterclockwise, but at medium speed, it gets a little confusing to tell what direction it's spinning. Then on the highest speed, it looks like the blades are not moving, but that there are 10 of them instead of 5. Here's an image of a fan with 5 fan blades. Each blade looks like the others. Our mind can't tell the difference between one blade and another when they're spinning. Now let's look at how the fan might change from one frame or picture to the next in a video. Suppose the fan is spinning counterclockwise slowly, so the fan blades don't move very far between frames. Here are the individual pictures the camera would take. And here is how it would look when it is played back. Things look like they should. The blades are spinning counterclockwise slowly. But things get confusing if you speed up the fan too much. Suppose that the fan is moving just fast enough that the blade at the top will move to where the next blade was in one frame. Since we can't tell one blade from another, it would look like the fan isn't moving at all. Now look at what happens when the fan is moving just a little bit slower. Here the blade at the top moves almost to the position of the next blade in one frame. Since we can't tell one blade from another, it looks like the fan is spinning slowly in a clockwise direction. Now look at what happens when the fan is moving a little bit faster. Here the blade at the top moves just past the position of the next blade between frames. Since we can't tell one blade from another, this looks like the fan is spinning slowly counterclockwise. Next, look at what happens when the fan spins so that the blade goes halfway from one blade to the next between frames. Here is what the frames would look like. Half of the frames would look like the image on the left, and half would look like the image on the right. When these are played back, it looks like the fan has 10 blades instead of 5. Try this yourself with different fan speeds and different frame rates on your camera. Our fan has 5 blades. 
If your fan has more blades, or it moves faster than ours, it's easier to make things look like they're standing still or moving backwards. But, then if you go to a higher frame rate on your camera, things should look the way that they really are. Maybe you have one of these, the fidget spinner. We can spin these a lot faster than a ceiling fan. Carol will show you how our fidget spinner works, and you're going to see something strange. Carol starts it spinning in a counterclockwise direction, but the video makes it look like it's spinning clockwise, starting very slowly and then speeding up. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm going to show you how a fidget spinner works. The video camera here doesn't show what the spinner is really doing. Our fidget spinner has lights that blink when it spins. There's a lot of different designs on fidget spinners, but if you have one, you should be able to make a video like this one too. Here's another view of the fidget spinner, when it spins very fast and gradually slows down. At first, it looks like it's spinning slowly counterclockwise, then slows down, stops, and starts spinning clockwise. A short time later, a similar thing happens, but it looks like the spinner has six blades instead of three. Later on, you can see the spinner still going counterclockwise and finally stopping. What you saw with the fidget spinner is just like what you saw with the ceiling fan. The spinner has three blades, spaced 120 degrees apart. At the start of the video, the spinner looked like it spun counterclockwise and then slowed down. That's because it spun just over 120 degrees in one frame. Then it slowed down and spun exactly 120 degrees in one frame, so it looked like it was standing still. Then it slowed down more and spun slower than 120 degrees in one frame, so it looked like it changed directions and then started to speed up. As it continued to slow down, it eventually spun 60 degrees per frame, or halfway between the blades. That made it look like it had six blades instead of three. When you take a video of the fidget spinner going real fast, try to do it so that you can see the spinner with your own eyes, and then see how it looks through the camera or the phone. You'll see two different things. When you look right at the spinner, you can probably see it going in the right direction. That's because your eyes and your brain are looking at the spinner continuously. Your brain doesn't take 30 pictures per second. It's always seeing the object. You can see it spinning in the right direction, even if the motion is hard to follow. The scientific term for what is happening is aliasing. You might know that an alias is a different name that someone uses. But in science, aliasing means that something is incorrectly identified as something else, like a fan or a fidget spinner that looks like it's standing still. Aliasing happens in a video when the frame rate of the camera is too slow to follow all the action. For something that spins like a fan, a fidget spinner, or a car wheel, Aliasing happens if the object spins more than halfway between two blades or two spokes from one frame to the next. If it spins fast enough that the blade or spoke moves from the top into the shaded region in one frame, the video has aliasing. In other words, the video will not show what is really happening. We hope you enjoyed this video. We plan to make another one that explains other interesting facts about how video cameras work.